I don't even have time for myself. See, I live in a neighborhood that has a lot of Nigerians in it. And all the time, do you know what they call me? Mama. They call me Mama. Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for clicking. My name is Lillian. In this video, I want to talk about why a good name is better than riches. And that is why a lot of countries are choosing well and some of us are struggling because we have chosen the other side. We have chosen wealth over a good name. People no longer have shame. People will do anything for the money, including killing other human, kidnapping, causing problems, doing all sorts of in the name of making money so we no longer have consideration for a good name and this is coming to life because a nigerian youtuber in ghana uh, in kumasi his name is chima he made a video talking condemning nigerians in ghana that are begging for money on youtube you know where that is going now is this me you want to shame me because we are still on the issue of me condemning and i will always condemn until my last day on heads anybody that commonize another person i'll condemn you even my own child cannot do it because i will never raise my kids to commonize another person because i condemn that and he's fighting back which i was well expected i expected that mm -hmm. he will fight back so chima is shaming nigerians in ghana that have asked for support online and here I am wondering, this is the same Chimao that have come out to beg people for support because he got thrown out of his face you and face me apartment in Kumasi. A man with no children, he doesn't have kids, he doesn't have a wife, he doesn't have any form of responsibility. He is supposed to look after himself, but he couldn't do it. Chima came out to ask people for support. They gave him. He's the same Chima. A lot of Ghanaians raised money for Chima. They sent him money. And that money, they gave it to him so he can start up a business. Because he lied to them that he was into a business before that the business collapsed. So they raised money for him to set up another business, which at the end of the day, Chima has not accounted for that money. Chima, where is this money given to you by Ghanaians? Now that you want us to dig this, I'm not afraid. Like Chima said that Nigerian YouTubers are begging and they are doing everything to beg. Like, are you trying to shame me? a responsible woman with three children plus myself making four that is what you are supposed to be right now you your wife your two children that is what i am single-handedly and i'm doing this alone you saying that they are not working they are doing only tiktok they are doing only youtube they are doing only a facebook whereas yourself you don't have a job I want people to help me ask Chima where this money is because people raise money for him. When I came out to ask for help last year, I was very specific. I wanted to move my items from my former apartment because the rent got increased and I could tell that that is not going to end. They are going to, there's tendency for them to want to increase the rent. And guess what? My former apartment have just been increased to 900 cities. That is 90 US dollars, which I consider to be too much on me. So I have moved out to here because I could see. And I was very precise when I wanted, I needed that money. When I called for help, I was very precise what I needed that money for. And I did it. In that video, I said I, want, I needed that money to transport my personal effects out of that place to a new place because at, at that time i had money that i could pay for an apartment but i don't have money to move my items uh -huh. so and then is it my fault that a lot of people came through for me people gave me their monies and that thing that i told them i wanted to do i did it and i told them i did it and i gave a vote of thanks it's not like Chima that collected that money and <laughs> Chima collected that money and he never said anything again. Even loyalty to the guy that, that helped you raise the money. Even when he was, even that one was shaming me like for, what was he shaming, shaming me for at that time? Okay, he was shaming me for what? For renting an apartment that I rented that time. He said it was too expensive. I'm living extravagantly. If he, he didn't call my name. Yeah, I know. He did not call my name. They, they are that scared of me they cannot mention my name and i love it so but i accounted for the money given to me i told people thank you and i moved and made a video of me moving they even gave me more than i asked and i came back to say thank you yes so is it the recent go me that was set up by 
an Igbo lady to help my daughter get into a school for children with disability? Is that the one you want to shame me for? The GoFundMe was not targeted at Ghanaians alone. It was raised for anybody in the world who, who could support me because I needed that support. Yeah, quite a number of people came through and raised some of the money for me. Even though it's not complete, I will complete it. I appreciate it so that my daughter can get into school because currently, as we speak, she's in the living room, she's here and she's just at home. Even though I've gotten her a teacher, being at a school and being at home is not the same. When that time comes, when I get her into school, I will still make a video proving that that money has been used for that people's. I'm not going to just keep quiet and quickly delete the video and move on like I didn't beg. I actually did. I mean, are you trying to shame me? I am like a man. That is why a lot of you, all, of you, all these weak men, you guys can't stand me. You and your friends, your group of friends, you know them. You guys cannot stand me. Because you just don't understand why the grace. Now, listen to me. I am the first and only Nigerian YouTuber that have been accused of so many things. You guys tried your best to shame me for working out on my channel. Shima's friend that is not even loyal to that one. Because from time to time, you make videos that makes the other one shakes. Makes the other one look like a bad guy. He makes those type of videos. He's not even loyal to his friend. Why will I expect you to be loyal to me? You don't know me before. So Chima said, um, I'm begging for money. Yes. He's, I'm the one he's talking to. He didn't call my name. And you, he didn't call my name because he's a coward. But I know he's talking to me. And a couple of people that watch the video knows that he's talking to me. He's talking to me. He's shaming me. Look, if I don't have the amount, if my ch daughter is not physically challenged, Chima, or let's say I don't have any responsibility at all, I'm like you, like I'm alone, I'm just supposed to take care of myself and maybe take care of my mom from time to time because my mom is active, she, she does her thing, she, my mom does not depend on me. Let's say I just, out of the goodness of my heart, I want to support my mother because she's my mom. From time to time, I send her support. And I don't have three children that I'm paying school fees for and feeding on a daily basis and getting accommodation uh, for them and clothing them. Let's say I don't have all of this on my neck. Do you know that I would have been a big girl? Like, I, this, there is none of you that can stand me in Ghana. Like, that is me. I would have been that big because... I could have been able to get myself a car, even if it's a small one. I would have been able to afford the basic things that I need. Even now, I still get the basic things. It shock you. So Chima said, um, they are doing everything to beg when nothing is chasing them. There's, everything is chasing me. Anything I have come out here to say to people that's happened to me, both in Ghana and in Nigeria, is actually true. I'm sharing it. Like, why not? Like, yeah. Sometimes people need these videos to relate to that they are not alone. So I don't get a Chima, a jobless Nigerian YouTuber in Ghana, is shaming a single mother of three plus myself making four. I'm a rich woman, if not that have a lot of responsibility. And my reason for not wanting to work in Ghana or is because I have not any day look for a job he wants me to get a job at the chinese company in ghana and then earn the amount between 600 cities a month to come home so i will not be able to take care of my children sorry i'm doing youtube full time all of you copied from me the only person i can say okay this person is doing his thing without copying anybody is actually your friend manager the rest i i had to come all the way from nigeria to show nigerian youtubers in ghana how to travel around Ghana. A lot of people have started their channels way before me, like before I even tried to figure out how to do it. It was YouTube that was dragging my attention to do videos about Ghana. So all of you started to copy. People like you, Chima now, Chima is doing YouTube to survive. He's blaming me. Like, are you shaming me for my efforts? I don't get it. Like, see, this is the same thing that your friend manager did initially. Like, he was comfortable with me until my channel picked up and I started to make money and I could pay for an apartment. That is when our friendship scattered because he could not understand why I am not homeless. He could not understand why I'm gaining all the attention from 
people due to my videos you see when i'm hustling you guys will be laughing at me yeah when the things start to pay you people will be crying right now i started facebook in august just now 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 that i started like i'm not even looking for monetization immediately but this monetization might come no matter how hard you guys try to shame me i don't have the brain for business my mother and father know how to do business very well but i cannot i don't know how to do it i've tried to do businesses in the past i end up losing these monies but you see creativity give me a camera and internet if you love me and you want to support me do things around support me around creativity and leave me there to blossom when i started my youtube channel now listen chima when i started my youtube channel i was not looking at monetization at all i didn't know i was going to be able to get even a thousand subscribers because of my style of content i'm a very real person and a lot of nigerians don't can't relate to that like when you are real the first thing they want to do is to investigate your educational qualification to see if you are so i don't know what she, um, you are trying to shame me for like i'm not ashamed it's better to beg than to steal Okay, you guys don't want me to ask for help. I should have gone to the streets to hug my body to get money so that you people will be happy. Yeah, you will, still, you will still cry blood. You will still complain. If I go out there and decide to hug my body in exchange for money to come and survive or to come and move my items at the time I did. See, if you like, shame me from morning to night. I am not ashamed. I'm not the only YouTuber that have asked for help. People like I am Marwa with the Maya and a lot of people. If you go on their channel now, click and see. They have their PayPal account, they have their Patreon, they have their this go for me, they have all sort of link, link on their bio on YouTube to get support from their followers because it's not cheap to produce content. I travel a lot, it's just now that I cut it down because I was just traveling and traveling and spending money and I wasn't even making the money back and now that my responsibility has increased as a mother who is actively in her kid's life i have reduced the way i travel so that i can save costs and also look after my kids but you coming out to try to shame me telling people to stop helping me you think you are doing me you're not see chima if they give you my life for two days you see my life as a woman with children especially a, a child that has physical disability which is quite expensive if they give you my life for two days you are going to kill yourself yes you will die you will carry a rope and hang on your neck and and kill yourself but that is the same thing you guys are using to mock me and you think i'm worried about it i'm not lie on me as you tell people Ask the people that have lied on me before and they cost me a lot of pain. Look at their lives today on YouTube. Focusing on my creativity, like I can't let my talent waste. I love to do this thing. I love creating content. I love telling stories because it's what I know I'm good at. You want me to start faking it that I'm working like a lot of you do here on YouTube. You have this, you have that, you have this. But at the end of the day, show us the thing you can't things about my life that I'm not ashamed of you see my financial status at the moment or even in future my where I come from where I come from the people that bettered me I'm not ashamed of these things because these are not my fault I cannot go and kill myself to make money to impress anybody so Chima said uh, they don't have another job doing if I'm to leave my kids in the house, did you ask me if the fact that your own channel is not making money doesn't mean mine is not making? It's just that I am trying, oh, and that is why from time to time I need help. So if I come out to call for help, is it your call? Is it your help? Say someone that can't even give me a password is the one criticizing me, a beggar like me, a colleague, a senior one, you with no kids, no wife know nothing you're asking for support we didn't the head did not quit to but me a mother with children is asking for help see whatever you guys are doing to me eh you will get your you see the universe will pay you back in double fold hmm? as you mock me may the universe mock you the thing is nobody have come out to say lily stole my money or 
Lily collected money from me and didn't deliver a job or Lily did this to me. The only thing you guys have on me is the fact that I've come out here to ask for support and you didn't give me people else, someone else gave me. Okay, I'll, I'll do a video preaching what I feel like. You guys will want to, you can't get, that's why you see, that's why you continue to copy from me. Because you see, Creativity and I are friends. Like I was a movie producer before I joined YouTube and I decided to take it serious. So you shaming my effort. I mean, like you are shaming me for taking my channel seriously and you think that could, should make me feel bad. No, that cannot. Like I'm working hard. It's not easy to film a single video. I'm actually doing well, but you can't notice that because you guys are so used to worshipping money. I mean, I do the things I love. I love to share. Um, I love to create. You see, give me a camera and the internet and send me away. I will do well. So you come in here to, you come in on your channel to tell people that they refuse to work. And you think I'm pain. Like you feel like you have let Nigerians down. Now you want to go back home to Nigerians and then you feel like it's me. You want to taste that. <laughs> I can see people saying me a manager. Even though we like it or not, you guys will still deal with us. Like you deal with me. I don't know for the other person, but me, nobody can deal with me. Any day you plan to deal with me, the angel of God will strike you. As you plan to kill me, you will just end up killing your family members one after the other. And when you are done, you kill yourself. Because I don't get it. Why will you wish me bad? Like, why will you mock me? So Chima is mocking me. All right, no wahala. Okay, I just want you to know that I've seen the video and that the universe will be the judge between you that mocks me and myself. Mm? You're shaming me for taking my YouTube channel seriously. You're shaming me for all the good things I'm doing. Like, I don't even have time for myself. See, I live in a neighborhood that has a lot of Nigerians in it. And all the time, do you know what they call me? Mama. They call me mama. If I was bringing in men to the house or sneaking out at night, do you think they respect me? I'm not ashamed, but thank you anyways for that video, okay? But make sure that in your lifetime, you can't come out to ask people for help. Because if you know the amount of work I put in, in doing my YouTube videos, you will not say all this nonsense you're saying. But you guys can continue to live a fake life. when You, are, you guys will be alright. If you love what a particular channel is doing, just go there and enjoy it. But don't come and tell me to do like them because my name is Lillian Bongrit and I am different from the rest. I have my journey and I'm not ashamed to flaunt it. I mean, like, what is this? I'm done with this video. I will see you guys in another one. Bye.